Okay, so like I said in the last part, we're going to come down to here, and what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be comparing, um, or rather checking this login OK variable to determine whether the login was successful or not. Um, and obviously we're using an if statement, so I'm going to say if login OK equals equals, because remember we're making a comparison, equals true, then um, we can execute, oh, forgot the start of the block, execute a block of code here. Um, otherwise, we're going to say else die incorrect user name password combination. Okay, so um, if this makes sense, we're going to say um, if MD5 password, if the MD5 encrypted password equals the already encrypted password in the database, i.e., does it match? Then the login OK variable is true. Otherwise, the login OK variable is false. Um, and then we're coming down and saying if the login um, OK is true, so if it has been set to true, therefore this would be true, uh, then we can execute a block of code. Uh, this just makes it a lot easier and a lot neater to, um, to work with. Okay, now we need to bring up an, yet another if statement, and this is going to be if remember me, which remember if we scroll up is the um, posted um, checkbox value. If remember me equals equals on, remember I said that the value returned is going to be on, um, then we're going to set a cookie. So what I'm going to do for now is just put the function there blank of anything. And then down here, I'm going to say else if remember me equals equals nothing. So if it is equal to nothing, like I said in I think in the second part of the tutorial, um, if the um, remember me or the checkbox rather called remember me has not been selected, it just returns a blank value. Um, then we're going to set a cookie. So dollar underscore uh, oh sorry, set a session variable. Um, and that's going to be equal to something. Um, what we'll do is we'll work with the uh, session first. Um, we're going to call the session username. Again, if you're not sure about sessions, I do have to, a tutorial on it that pretty much explains them out. Um, this is going to be equal to username. So the session username is going to be equal to the value of the username that they've typed in. So we can refer to the username uh, later on if you're building uh, sort of like a website through this. Um, and later on in the tutorials, we're going to in this tutorial, we're going to referring um, to the uh, username session. We've called it username. Um, this is for things like the is set function. So we'll, we can say stuff like is set session username, and that means are they logged in? Has this line here been processed and um, this been set? Now you might have noticed that I've done a mis mistake here. Luckily, I've sp spotted it. I've done a comparison operator. I need um, to assign, this is an assignment operator, which is a single equals. So we're assigning the session uh, value, um, or the session, um, yeah, session value is username now. Um, and we're going to set a cookie if the remember me equals on. Um, so the this cookie is going to be called username, that's the first parameter that we're bringing up. The second parameter is the value. So this would be a value. It can be a string value, an integer value, uh, whatever you like. But obviously, we're going to be using username. So this and this are completely identical now, apart from the fact that this is a session and this is a cookie. So a cookie doesn't expire until a certain, a certain time. Um, and a session expires when the user's browser is closed. So we're going to set the expiration um, time. And this is going to be time. So the current time, but then we're going to add on 7,200 seconds, which is 48 hours. Um, you can use like a Google converter or obviously your own mathematical, um, you know, like a calculator or something to calculate uh, the amount of days you want this set. You might only choose to have 24 hours, um, so you just halve this value. Um, but yeah, this basically sets uh, whatever you set this to. It um, it expires after that specific time and obviously this is the time at the moment so this is in in the future okay so we've set the cookie now um, and set the session depending now the only problem we've got is with sessions we always need to use the session start um, function at the top of a page 
and what's better to use at the top of a page is our functions.php so I'm going to come into functions.php I'm going to just um, comment this out and I'm going to say session start and that's basically going to start our session um, so our um, so this command will actually work um, without this here this command won't work and won't store this value inside this session variable Oh, okay okay then so um, the next thing to do um, is to redirect the user once they have um, successfully logged in remember you need to do this within this um, if login equals true box uh, block sorry otherwise outside we're going to redirect them even if they even if they haven't entered the correct uh, credentials so we're going to use the header command and we're going to set the location uh, to user area PHP so it redirects them straight to the user area page here that I've created um, and then underneath this we're going to say exit the reason I do say we're going to use this command is um, like I mentioned before some browsers are modified not to um, take into account header information and header redirects so this exit script will ensure that the user definitely can't proceed through this script um, if they have disabled headers in one way or another or header redirects okay so this pretty much should work now let's uh, go in and test it I'm just going to refresh this page okay so I'm going to type Alex and I'm going to type a completely wrong password and click login okay and we've got an error message incorrect username password combination um, I'm ignoring the, rem the remember me part from now because we're going to test this a bit later on uh, now I'm going to type the um, you know my actual password it's one two three remember when we press the login button this is going to be encrypted to MD5 which will look something like that and then the MD5 um, this which is encrypted to MD5 is going to be converted to this MD5 hash which is already encrypted so we're you know comparing the same value and then it should say well that's equal that must be the same password so proceed with the login so now I click login and I am redirected obviously to nothing at the moment but you can see up in my um, address bar we have been re redirected to user area.php now we don't actually know whether the cookie or session have been set successfully yet and that's what we're going to do in the next part of the tutorial we're going to use this user area to check whether the user has been logged in via cookies or via a session so um, check out the next part and you'll learn how to do that